Okay, this is a sneak peek um, chapter of Haley Harper's Science Girl Extraordinary Race to Outer Space. Um, and it is in tribute to the astronauts of the Space Shuttle, Space Shuttle Challenger. Haley knew all about the year 1986. It was the year that Haley's comet was last seen from Earth. It was the year that her dad became interested in space because of the probes that were sent that year to do a flyby investigation of the comet. And ultimately, that was the year dad vowed that if he ever had a daughter, he would name her after the famous comet. Miss Mack reached out to lightly touch a photo of seven smiling astronauts wearing blue jumpsuits like Sally and proudly holding their helmets while walking to board the space shuttle. Her fingers lightly stopped on one of the female astronauts. This astronaut is Krista, and she's the reason why I'm a teacher today. She must be a very special person, Haley whispered as Miss Mack smiled to turn to look at her. She was the first teacher selected to go into space. Oh, don't get me wrong, I wanted to be that first teacher in space. I applied, along with thousands of others, but in the end, I wasn't selected. But that didn't make me less excited for the teacher who was, Krista McAuliffe. I had watched all the news coverage of her preparing for flight, her getting ready to live in space, and how she had practiced each Newton Laws of Motion experiments that she would prefer, perform in space so it would be perfect. On the day of the launch, my friends and I drove to the launch site to have front row seats of liftoff. We vowed that we would be the next teachers in space, calling ourselves the Rocket Girls. And we made a solemn pact that day that if one of us made it to outer space before the others, we would cheer each other on until we returned. Haley smiled at the thoughts of Miss Mack as a young teacher and her friends and how excited they must have been having front row seats to, the his to history in the making. On the day of the launch, the air was filled with a buzz of anticipation. Spectators watched from a grassy hill. School children watched on TV at school. The world watched this historic event of a teacher, a civilian, prepared to launch into outer space, riding in the Space Shuttle Challenger. When the rockets flared, the entire country held their breath, waiting for liftoff, Miss Mack's eyes twinkled. It was a proud moment for our country. We remembered the pride we felt when the first man walked on the moon, and now our Krista was about to make history again. We all wanted to be her. We all were her in the moments before liftoff. Then the rockets broke the bonds of gravity and we all exhaled together in one big chant, USA, USA. But 73 seconds after liftoff, it happened. The excitement turned to horror when suddenly the space shuttle split into three different shapes separating like a firework. In a split second, the sound of rockets blasting turned into the sound of shock, horrified silence. The TV announcer's voice cracked when he said, it appears there's a problem with launch and it registered in our brains that we were witnessing a horrible accident. You could have heard a pin drop as the once proud space shuttle transformed into disfigured plumes of white clouds piercing the sky. That was the moment we knew Krista was instantly gone. It was confirmed that all on board the space shuttle Challenger had perished. I guess you could say she inspired Camp Eureka. She taught us about space, but the most important lesson Krista taught was she taught us how to be brave and reach for the stars.